Now I have before me the Lenovo ThinkPad Z13 Gen 1, and I will say this is easily the best business laptop of 2022. If you're looking for a Windows-based platform, that's toting Ryzen with insane battery life. Now, when I first saw that this came with the Ryzen 7 Pro CPU, I thought, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, you got the little 7 Pro going on. What is that really going to do? Or is it just another weird numbering skew that doesn't make sense to the consumer? And I will say that it means something. This laptop has the best battery life I have seen out of a Windows laptop in years. And it has matched performance with all the other mobile ultra low power on the go friendly thin and light laptop processors that are currently available on the market. Now, let's just jump right into my favorite thing about this laptop, and that's the battery life. As you can see, you're getting over 16 hours of productivity battery life. That would be making Zoom calls, writing up documents, sending emails, whatever you might do in your daily business life, streaming videos for over 20 hours. You could run it inside of Photoshop for over eight hours, and you could edit videos for over five hours. So this laptop is exceptionally efficient. It really blows my mind. Now, in regards to the performance, that is another area that I thought it was great. I wouldn't say it's the best laptop for performance. There's other laptops that tote the i7-1260P from Intel that do get slightly better performance, but they get almost half the battery life of this laptop. Now, let's go ahead and jump into Geekbench single core real quick. And as you can see, the single core speed sits to the mid range of the charts. Like I said, there's a few i7-1260Ps that sit above this laptop. But as we get into multi-core performance, that's where you see a little bit better results above some of the i7-1260P laptops. So what that means is you can run multiple programs at the same time with this laptop. So maybe you're on a Zoom call, you're running your emails, you're doing some Excel, you're, you know, maybe you're in Photoshop if you're a creator, and all these programs will run efficiently at the same time without any bottlenecking. Now, as you jump into Cinebench R23 single core, you can see that this laptop sits right below a Ryzen 9 6900 HS processor that's inside a gaming laptop, a high performance gaming laptop, and it has only 20 points less in single core performance than that high performance laptop. So what I'm saying is this Ryzen 7 Pro mobile processor is great single core performance. Now, as we move on to the multi-core performance inside of Cinebench R23, you can see it really starts to shake it off with that G14. It is just a killer of a processor. And so you will see a bit of a spread there with the high performance CPU versus the mobile CPU. However, the battery life on this laptop is unmatched. And so that's why I'm saying you're getting good performance with this laptop. For business, it's gonna just absolutely kill it. For creator tasks, it's gonna do really good. But if you want a game on this laptop, if you're wanting to you know, do 3D modeling on this laptop, I do not recommend that. That's why I'm including that other laptop here on this list. So you can just see the comparison between what this laptop may be suitable for. Business, photo editing, some video editing, totally gonna rock with this laptop. And you'll see that more as we get into further benchmarks. So Lenovo sent over these three Lenovo Legion 5 Pros. And as soon as we hit 100,000 subscribers, we're gonna kick off a giveaway to celebrate passing the 100,000 subscriber mark. The faster we get there, the sooner the giveaway is coming your way. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, share this video, and drop a comment of how you would use a Lenovo Legion 5 Pro. Now, as we jump into Photoshop, you can see that this laptop scores a 671, which is a fantastic score. The coveted MacBook Pro M1 actually scores a 565 in the Photoshop benchmark. So this gets well above that, so you're gonna have no problems with this laptop inside of Photoshop and other graphic design focused applications. Now, as we move on to Premiere Pro, you can see that with the 4K export, what we're gonna do is we're gonna load a nine minute 4K clip inside of Premiere Pro and then export it out at full quality YouTube 4K settings. And you can see it gets a six minute and 35 second export time. It's actually three times slower than that Asus Zephyrus G14 with the Ryzen 9 6900HS and RX 6700S GPU. Now, the reason I am showing you such a vast difference is this is a thin and light mobile laptop. So will it be able to edit video? Absolutely, you'll be able to do 4K video editing. Your export times will just be a good bit slower because it is a thin and light mobile processor. So if you're looking for something really high performance video editing, I'd recommend some of the other laptops that I review on my channel. But if you're really focusing on business, some light video editing, maybe you're getting into some photo editing, stuff like that, this thing will totally handle it. But if your focus is video editing, that is what you're gonna do on the day-to-day, -day, or maybe motion graphics or 3D modeling, this would not be the recommendation. 
But that's why I said when I opened up the video, this is one of the best business laptops of 2022. All right, now let's go ahead and jump into the build quality of this laptop. Now, first and foremost, I absolutely love the recycled water bottle, 100% recycled water bottle, vegan leather top cover. It is so attractive. It is just insane how good looking this laptop is. Then we have accented with these kind of rose gold or kind of bronze finishings. You see the Z13 here on the top panel of the screen. And then coming down around the side, you got the Lenovo embossed here as well. And then you just have this really nice gold finish all around the edge of the laptop. And everything is fit together so nicely. It just feels so sturdy in my hand. So as far as build quality and feeling like you're carrying around a premium product, this definitely has it. Now, one thing that I say this kind of feels like it got left out is going to be ports. There's a very slim port selection. We have a USB type C, and a headphone jack on the right side panel. And then we have a simply one USB type C on the left. And that's why I really named this like the best business laptop because as a business owner, you know, you, you need to maybe plug into a projector and you can bring a dongle along, plug in an HDMI to plug into, you know, a TV or a projector, maybe to display a presentation or something like that. But you're not gonna have an SD card reader for photos. You're not gonna have HDMI port or multiple USB type A's or mini display port, anything like that. It's really streamlined for what I would Consider the business man or woman. So that is where I think, you know, it leans more towards the business owner. Now you could bring a dongle along that has an SD card reader and all that, but it's really streamlined, really sleek, really sexy as it were uh, kind of laptop. Now you can open up the laptop easily with one hand, which makes it very comfortable. It's also a very stiff screen. So no screen flex, again, emphasizing the quality of the laptop. Of course, you have one big mount from the keyboard deck to the screen with two hinges on each side. Now, the keyboard is a very nice, small to medium key press, very quiet. And then also the trackpad is something very unique. It's a vibration click trackpad. So you don't have an actual physical click when you click down on the trackpad, which makes it quiet. Um, and also you don't have the fear of that mechanical system breaking. It's all software based. Now, one thing I would say is I wish it was a little bit taller of a trackpad. Uh, sometimes I felt myself kind of like getting up here and feeling like I was running out of space for some reason. So I maybe wish it was a little bit taller, but it was nothing that I, I was overly frustrated by, um, but it just felt a little short. Uh, it had a bunch of width, which was great, but a little short. I love the inlays here. You can see that this is a slightly different kind of matte texture. And then you have a smooth texture with a ThinkPad. And then you have your Do Dolby Atmos speakers. The speakers are pretty solid. I wouldn't say they're amazing. Here's a quick audio sample of the speakers so you can hear what they sound like. And of course, this does have a webcam and here's a quick sample of the webcam so you can see what that looks like. Here is the webcam on the ThinkPad Z13 Gen 1 and a little audio sample for you as well. I'm super happy that they went with the full size shift key and gave us the smaller arrow keys. That was a great move. I'm a big fan of the full size shift key. And of course you have a fingerprint reader for quick logins. Now to give you a quick sample of what the keyboard and the trackpad sound like, here is a quick listen to that. Now this screen is fantastic for anyone putting in long days. This is an eye safe display, helps cut down on that blue light so you don't have so much eye fatigue. And for me, I know that is very important. I spend a lot of time looking at my screens. This is also a very color accurate screen. You can see the specs coming up on the screen right now. It's not the brightest screen, but it is color accurate and has good color gamut range. And it does have enough brightness to get you by. Maybe if you're always outside at a coffee shop, the brightness may be a little difficult, especially with this glossy screen. You're gonna have some reflection as you can see there from the top camera, it kind of reflects off the light uh, that I have here in my studio. So maybe you would just get like a matte uh, screen protector to cut down on some of that reflection from this glossy screen. If you're inside a lot though, the screen is gorgeous. It looks great. It's crisp. It's got dark darks. It's got good contrast and it's got really nice bright colors. Now, of course, this thing is so on the go friendly. The weight and thickness is just unreal. And 
especially for how much performance and battery life you're getting out of this system. Now, overall, like I said in the beginning, I think this laptop would be great for a business owner who often finds themselves doing some creative work, whether it be creating presentations, editing some photos. You have the performance to do that sort of creator work, but then also you have the battery life to be on the go for many hours. So it really is the best of both worlds. And since this channel is for creative professionals, I always like to throw in that spin. Now, if you're somebody who's looking for more performance like video editing, 3D modeling, or motion design, I definitely recommend going with something with a dedicated GPU. Though this has great single core and multi-core performance and can get you by in Photoshop and creator tools like that, I would not recommend this laptop for heavy graphical processing. Let me know what you think of this laptop in the comment section below. If you're curious about the exact live pricing or you want to purchase this laptop, you got links in the description and that will help out my channel, of course. And I'm always grateful for you all use those links. Otherwise, likes this video has brought you some value and subs if you don't want to miss out on the future uploads. I'll see you here in the next one.